Hello, this is a lesson on grouping symbols, which really is a lesson on order of operations. And it goes with GoMath for California GoMath, lesson 1.12. And the learning intention today is that you can evaluate expressions that use a variety of symbols. And uh, these things look very, very complicated, uh, but they are not. They, they, if you are organized and you break each of these expressions down, you'll see that the, these are actually very, very simple. Uh, the success criteria is that you use the order of operations and that you rewrite the expression. Now, this one is more important, right? I mean, this one's obviously important. We're going to follow the rules. But uh, rewriting it and staying organized is essential to this lesson. And the skills needed, uh, you're going to have to do mental math. We don't want you to work it off to the side. What is 3 times 2? You're going to have to know that. Uh, and then... Um, just applying the rules as, uh, you know, you go through the problem. Vocabulary is the same as uh, the previous lesson, and it is uh, an operation is either adding, subtract, multiplying, or dividing. And when we say expression, it's just a number sentence, and it has some sort of operation in it, like 5.3 is an ex or not 5.3, 5 times 3 or 5 plus 3. Both are expressions, uh, and you just find out what the value of those expressions are. Here's the notes for Lesson 1.12. Uh, please pause the video, write them down, and refer to them as you go through the lesson. All right, so here are the two example problems I'm going to demonstrate for you. And they look very complicated. You know, they have all these different symbols in here, and uh, it just looks like a bunch of gibberish. But really, when you break it down uh, and you use a highlighter, you will see that these things are pretty logical, actually. So if we take a look at just this problem, we have one big group of symbols and numbers and operations. And if we just highlight the similar symbols, right, there's this braces symbol on both sides. That forms one big group. Right, so we're going to evaluate all of this within this big group before we multiply by the 4. But within that group, there are other smaller groups. They have these brackets, right? And that forms another group. We'll call it the pink group, pink bracket group. And then there's another set of brackets that we have to solve again before we evaluate the whole green group. Oh, boy. All right, it's, it's not that complicated. It just seems complicated. And then within each pink bracket group, there are some parentheses that we will do first within those groups. All right, now that we have it kind of organized, let's start evaluating. So we're going to evaluate this whole pink group here. We'll add that to the other pink group here. We'll put those two together because, let me um, get my highlighter out one more time, because all of that falls within the green group. And then we'll multiply all that times 4. So let's evaluate. Uh, pink group first. Actually, yellow group first, but then within that, the pink group. So 5 minus 2. Hopefully, you're thinking that's 3. And then I multiply that times 3, which equals 9, right? And so that pink group evaluated out equals 9. And we're going to add that, because there's an addition symbol here, to whatever the value of, is of this pink group. So I have 2 times 4 in parentheses. I do that first. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is... 10. Uh, so the green group is 9 plus 10, and we'll multiply all of that times 4. All right, so if I rewrite the expression down here, it's 4 times whatever is in this uh, green group still. 9 times, uh, not times, 9 plus 10 is 19. And then hopefully you can do 4 times 19. Uh, if you can't do that in your head, do it off to the side. But uh, 4 times 19 equals 76. All right, so organizing yourself with highlighters or some kind of way to, to see the different parts of each group and then uh, multiplying it or doing whatever it is, uh, whatever operation you need to do to the other part. Oh, boy, it's a lot of stuff. All right, so uh, now let's use the same highlighter for the brackets and braces and so on for this second problem. All right, I see some 
braces here and I see some braces there. So this is going to form the big green group. Draw a big box there. All right, and then we need another color, pink, for the brackets group. There's one group, right, and that's going to form some value within the green, and the other pink is going to form some value within the green. And now we can uh, get the third color out and say here are, are our parentheses group, the yellow group within the pink, right? So the pink's within the oh, <laughs> orange, I almost called the orange, pink is within the green, the yellow is within the pink, and all of that is something we're going to divide 32 by. All right, get our pencil out. Uh, let's solve the first pink group. It's 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 7 is 13. All right, and that's a subtraction symbol, minus 6 minus 4 is, let's see, 6 minus 4 is 2, plus 7 is 9. All right, so within the big green group, it's 13 minus 9, so we're going to rewrite the other parts now. 32 divided by 13 minus 9 is 4, and then 32 divided by 4 equals 8. All right, so here's what you need. You need some highlighters. Go ask your teacher for some highlighters. Your task, page 53, numbers 1 through 6, uh, you do not have to do 7 and 8, just do 1 through 6, and you have to get them all right. right? You, you can't get any of them wrong. you got to get them all right to move on. Good luck.